So it just knocked me out of live. And someone had asked me something and if you're still here, please ask, please ask me again. Um, also wanna show you guys a difference in like the color. Look at the difference in color. This looks almost like caramelized and then this looks like super like bright. We're gonna let it cool, it's gonna cool for a few minutes. It's bounced back. I don't mind this no. Hi everyone, hi everyone, sorry, sorry. It just knocked me out alive for some reason. Now this is part three. I'm trying to make a power roll. I'm still eating the other one. Cause I actually don't mind the crunchies. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, sorry. Sorry. Um, I hope whoever asked me that question comes back to ask again. Okay, stop eating that. You're going to ruin eating more. Um, I feel bad. Somebody said something or asked me something and I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't read it in time. And then this stinking thing knocked me out. Ridiculous. Internet's being weird. Okay, so hopefully this comes out of the pan. Because the next step is we're going to hopefully have it plop out of the pan onto my cotton cloth and then we're going to roll it up must have been a lie the universe is sparing you just kidding just kidding man i like went to take the cake out come over and like somebody had written something and then freaking <sighs> That's okay. Then I gotta roll it up, remove the towel. Oh no, no, no. Roll the cake, wait. What? Oh, roll the cake up and place seam down in the cool for 15 minutes. Then do the filling, but already did that. When cake is cooled, unroll, spread filling over the cake, roll the cake up again with the towel, wrap with a plastic wrap and refrigerate. And then serve it with the sifted powdered sugar. Movie idea, Carnosaur, it's a cheesy 90s movie and, and I had watched it and had a panic attack. Oh no! I don't want to have a movie give me a panic attack. But I do like good cheesy movies. What is another movie I watched recently? Falling was really good. <clears throat> my list is on my phone. So. I think that's why my life stopped. Because I went to go look at my notes on my phone and then realize like you can't do that while you're on live so what happened to my halloween lo-fi vibes oh it's on jazz hot cafe i don't mind that one it's nice and chill what do you think about the 2018 suspiria i didn't watch it The original is, for me, a little boring, but when it gets good, it gets good. I'm like, I'm just really tired of people remaking movies that don't need to be remade. I don't need to see 
your version of it. The original is... I, and the only reason I say that is because I know there's a ton of scripts and people that have written scripts with new ideas and new horror ideas and, and things that have just been sitting, sitting on desks. But nobody wants to make them because they don't have a name behind it. Well, it's like nobody knew what Halloween was. Nobody knew Halloween was going to be a huge hit or Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th. But you got to start somewhere. Actually, Midsommar, did you like it? It's one of my favorites. Evelyn, I had high hopes for that movie. The first half of that movie, I was on the edge of my seat. This is amazing. This is kind of the new horror that I want to see. And then the second half of it, I was so bored. I was bored and annoyed. And I don't like that movie. I have no desire to see it again. I was so bored. I really thought they were going to keep that same energy. And I was going to see new amazing things. And then it just went for me I was so upset and I was <laughs> my best friend at the time we saw in the theater and he was really upset that I didn't like it because he really liked it and I just said I'm I'm sorry I don't <laughs> I don't like it I have high hopes for horror movies I really do um, probably one of my fav like new favorites that have come out and I really don't watch a lot of new horror movies and I should um, but Mandy Mandy for me is like that's in my top 20 I will watch that movie till the end of time that to me is a good movie if I want to see it again and again and again and again and again and again and again Like Return of the Living Dead. That movie is classic. It's a little bit slow, but like, it's just so freaking funny. And it's so good. It has such a great movie soundtrack, too. I promise the spirit isn't a remake. It's more like a continuation of Dario Argento's witch stories. Hmm. Interesting. I will say I probably won't see it. Um, I'm really scared that this cake won't come out of the pan. But I think it's time to try. All right, don't knock over the flour. I mean, for me, like the best horror movies are Night of the Living Dead. The end still makes me upset. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You can't get better than it. I love GOAT, but it's very boring except for 45 seconds of it. <laughs> I also watched The Ascent recently because I always heard how amazing the ascent is i'm gonna tell you something let me tell you something that first half like that first beginning of that movie is terrifying it made me so uncomfortable and it was cringy when they're going down and then you're like i don't know if they're gonna be able to get out and like like the claustrophobia of it and everything was amazing uh and spoilers if you haven't seen The Ascent, walk away from your phone. Okay. So in The Ascent, when 
the vampire looking creatures come out ruined it for me ruined it that movie would have been so good and creepy if it just would have been the whole cast trying to survive getting their way out of this thing while one person is is in control of sabotaging everything because the dynamic of just pe people and in confined situations like that to me is the ultimate way of terror like that's terror for me so i thought that movie would have been awesome if yeah one person got out at the end but i think it would have been amazing if it just would have stayed the on its course you know like going through deep like deeper and tighter spaces and then the people just you know hurting like hurting each other mentally and physically like that would have been it for me sabotage <laughs> hey baker <laughs> I think it's cooled down enough. We can see like the sugar in there. Please come out. Please come out. <laughs> Moment of truth. There was so much better on this. Oh my god, it's not coming out. I think it's stuck again. Come on. Come on! stuck again and I don't know what to do about it <laughs> Fuck, why does it keep getting stuck I don't get it why does it keep getting stuck oh oh please come out please come out please come out don't get stuck don't get stuck I just think the edges are like stuck. Oh my gosh, she's making me nervous. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. When I roll it. Now get the pumpkin chocolate fudge. <laughs> Alright, well now I'm supposed to roll it, which I'm gonna roll it on the end that has the break in it. Oh lord. Alright. It's gonna crack. Probably because then it sets it right. All right. What do I do? <laughs> I'm confused. I need to see what's going on. Let me see how you're rolling it. Hold on, I need to watch the video. It looks like it's working. 
I need to watch the video again. Hello. I need to see how they roll it. Do they roll it with the towel in it? <laughs> Edge of the towel can't be tucked into the cake. <laughs> I don't think so either, but then it's like, why do you have the towel to roll it then? I don't know. I'm trying to look at this video, which isn't working, of course. I need to refresh this page, I think. Driving me bonkers. All right, I'm just gonna refresh. I need a visual too, right? It just helps. I'm glad at least most of it came out of the pan as a whole. Oh my gosh. Ooh, pumpkin squares? Ooh. Where's my recipe? Oh shit, I don't know which recipe I was using. Caramel filled carrot cake. That sounds good. Same recipe though. What was the recipe I was using? <laughs> okay, I think this is what it means. We just like use it to guide. That's where the break is. Crab apples. Okay, okay, okay. I think this is what you do. Sorry I'm being quiet. <laughs> we said at the same time. I'm bad at typing, but you like to push it weird. It's so hard to explain. Okay. 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 So we have a roll. It's sticky. All right. So. recipe. Where's my other recipe? Oh, man, all right, I gotta go to my history because I don't know which I need to see the right video. Do you guys see it though? It's a roll. <laughs> okay, moist pumpkin cake roll. No, that wasn't this one. Moist pumpkin cake roll. This one? This isn't what I was watching. This wasn't it. Is it? This is like a different, this is a different recipe. All right, so it's rolled. I think I'll just let it sit for a second. So it gets its shape. 
I think I was supposed to do it while it was still a little warm. I need to get plastic wrap. Get my cling wrap. But it's a roll! It's a roll. Uh, it's a, I did look at the history, but like, I don't know what happened because it's going on this. What's weird is I don't see it in my history. It's like a different roll. Not the one that I looked up. And there's a bunch of different recipes. There's Granny Cat's pumpkin roll, Grandma Carol's pumpkin roll, Walnut pumpkin roll, which that wouldn't be the one I'm using, but Crease Cheese pumpkin roll, like it could be that one. Pumpkin Swiss roll, Moist pumpkin cake, pumpkin rolls. Okay, it does look good, right? All right. Where's my frosting? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, now that it's got like, it can roll, except for that one little part there, I'm gonna put on the frosting. I should have my spatula. All right, I gotta clean my spatula, guys. Sorry, I keep like getting off screen. Hi. And Shandy's pumpkin roll. <laughs> That's so funny. Aunt Shandy's pumpkin roll. Okay, here's cream cheese filling. I'm so glad. You know what? I'm so glad it came out. I'm gonna use this to fill this crack. Get in there. As long as I know it rolls. So then you guys are gonna see the final bit because it's gotta go on the fridge to set. Okay. Make sure we get some over here. This only took me twice as <laughs> twice as long. As I wanted it to. That's fine. At least now I kind of know what to do. So if I ever want to make this again, I kind of like know what know what works and what doesn't work. All about trial and error. And you know, I used to get really I can't think of the word. Uh like if I would try something and then it didn't come out right, I would get really, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I guess disheartened. So then I just wouldn't even try it again. I'd just be like, well, can't do it. Can't do it. And I'm trying my best to like not have that mentality anymore of like, so what if you don't, what if you don't fucking get it on the first try? Just remember what you did. Try again. Mm. I could eat this cream cheese frosting. Mm. I could put that on everything. Mm -hmm. Like that. On like a blueberry muffin. Shani, I tried to make my birthday cake completely from scratch this year. I fucked it up so badly I had a meltdown over it. There was a birthday that I had when I was in elementary school where I begged my mom to let me make my cake. And I never really watched my mom. I mean, I watched my mom bake, but I wasn't really paying attention to what she was doing. Um, so... Um, what was I thinking? Um, I begged her to let me make my own cake. I burnt it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to it and it burnt. And my mom was like, well, you don't have birthday cake. You wanted to make it. And I guess she was just teaching me a lesson, like pay attention <laughs> to what you're doing. I didn't have a birthday cake. I was 31 crying over cake, tell myself to get a grip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I cry like 
at every TV show. I would have cried too. I'd be like, my cake. All right. I think I'm supposed to wrap this. All right. We're going to try to roll it again. And we've already. Ah, it's breaking. It's breaking. No. Oh, no. It's breaking. Come on, I already rolled you up once. Roll up again. Ta da! Okay. It's got filling in it. And we just gotta put some. Uh, I'm sorry about your cake. That sucks though, too, when you're like, you're like, yay, I'm baking, I'm gonna bake. And you like get all excited and you have all your ingredients and like you do it and then it sucks there's nothing i cannot stand when i cook or i bake and it tastes like garbage or it gets burnt it makes me so upset especially if it's something that takes a long time to make and then i'm like i don't even want to eat this it's like it's a waste of time that's what I'm trying not to do. Like, I'm trying not to think of it as wasted time. I'm trying to think of it now as, um, like, I have, it's a, like, it's a learning process. That's it, Shani. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. It's always like, uh, the money wasted too. That too. Especially when you're broke. Okay, I'm gonna get. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fucking hate saran wrap. Bane of my existence. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pick you up. Don't fucking break. God, I feel like I'm gonna like. <laughs> I do feel like I'm on British Bake Off where I'm like. Don't fucking break. Don't break! happy that it broke um and that the filling is not even and it could have been rolled I could have rolled this tighter I guess now I'm kind of like should I roll it tighter oh, crap should I roll this tighter it's kind of like breaking off into the thing well I don't know if I should No, Shandy, just leave it. Now you know next time, roll it tighter. It is what it is. At least it came out. All right, now I just need to get some saran wrap onto the other side. They'd be like, you didn't roll it tight enough and the filling is not evenly distributed. I'll be like, you know what? Paul and Prude. It took me two tries to make the dang cake. So, as long as it tastes good, I don't care. Okay? Guys, it's a roll. Somebody just tried to call me. Um, so it doesn't look pretty, but it's a roll. 
I should have rolled it tighter, but it's going in the freaking, not the oven. It's going into the fridge. Okay, it's got it cool and set. Uh, my laundry has been sitting in the washing machine for an hour and a half. <laughs> Oops. All right, guys. So I'll show the finished part later. It was lovely to chat with all of you. <sighs> you like the original host better? I don't know. I like the current ones. But I have a soft place in my heart for Nig um what's his name? What's his name? What is his name? Why can't I think of his name right now? Anyways, because of the mighty boosh. Um are, do you mean like the other chefs? I mean I like all the 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 cooks. Um Anyways, uh, the mighty boosh. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> I need to go finish laundry because I have to leave in like an hour and 15 minutes. So I'll show you guys the no, no, thank you, Lon. Lon Hammersey, thank you so much. No felding. Jeez Louise in my brain. Uh, I gotta eat something else. I've just had a banana today and it's almost three. And I've been up since 10.30. Woo, yeah, I gotta eat something else. Okay, I gotta eat something before I leave. Be safe, Shandy, hope you feel better. Thank you, you too. And try to make your cake again, even though it's not your birthday right now, but just treat yourself. Okay guys, I'll show you my attempt at a pumpkin roll later. Bye, be safe, be good.